Good morning. My name is Rick Hobson. I own Jericho Nursery. You do not know what this thing is here. It's a wall of water. Wall of water, I think they call it. This is a heater more than a greenhouse, and we're going to just show you how to use it and what it's used for. There will be a pause here in a minute or two when they come in. This is for putting in tomatoes two months earlier. In Albuquerque, that would be as early as February 15th. Average last frost date in our city is April 17th, so February to March, March to April, two months early, maybe March 1st. You put this thing out, I'm going to show you how to fill it up, what we do and what seems to make the most sense, and talk a little about it as I do it. The guy that invented these has a much quicker way because he does it for a living. This is the way I do it. We put this bucket inside here so the thing doesn't fall over. Again, the guy that has done this for his whole life doesn't do it this way. I find it much easier, just that simple, fill these tubes up with water. I go from side to side just like a tire, and you'll see as we do this how it wants to lean, and I can tell you right now my bucket's not big enough, but I think we'll make it work. See how it's trying to fall over? So what the guy told me, the son, and I was uh, a little surprised, that he watched his father watched steam coming off a lake in the evenings and the mornings or, or the mist or the fog and said, man, if I could just harvest that, I could do something with it. So this is more than a greenhouse, it's a heater because as, in, as water cools down at night, it creates energy in the form of heat. So there, I have seen pictures where this thing has been used in St. Paul, the middle of March, foot of snow around it, six or eight inches out from the sides of this, no snow and a tomato inside in St. Paul, Minnesota, the middle of March. So I like to do it a little slower than fast. Like I said, the guy that showed me how to do it can fill these things up lickety split. Uh, he didn't use the bucket. I used the bucket to keep things from falling. So just fill up all these tubes. The other thing I recommend once you get this thing filled up is even though it won't freeze inside, Tomatoes need warm soil temperature, so I tell you, get this thing filled up like this, put it where you're going to plant your tomato, and leave it set for three or four days or even a week, because that will warm up the soil. Even if it didn't freeze, if the soil wasn't warm, the tomato would just stall. You put the tomato in there, and it wouldn't grow. It might not die, but it wouldn't, and wouldn't freeze, but it might not grow until your soil temperatures warm up. So you've kind of lost the advantage of putting in two months early if you've got to wait a month for your soil to warm up. And voila, instant tomatoes. Okay, so once you've filled up your wall of water like this, and you see my bucket and the reason I use it, and I'll show you here in just a minute what we do, and my instant tomato, voila, and the reason we put wall of waters, as I said earlier, is you can plant up to two months earlier. My wife and I have had BLTs on Mother's Day with lettuce and tomatoes out of our garden in the middle of May. That's doing it right. That's getting your lettuce in early and harvesting because by June it's too hot for lettuce. And it's getting a wall of water around a tomato so you can have a fresh tomato before June. Like I said, two months earlier, people, I had forgotten about this. People asked me, how can you put in tomatoes now? I asked other people, you're not putting in a tomato now, are you? They said, well, yeah, we have our wall of water. I said, oh, yeah. This is a tomato cage. This could go in here. I'll pull this bucket out here in a second. Uh, though, really, I would wait on this until you pull the wall of waters off. I have done it with these. The wall of water will, will pull over the top of this. It's a real pain in the butt. The guy told me that invented these, and it was a sales pitch. He said, you can leave these on all summer, and it will give you some coolness around the plant. I found that they grew algae. They didn't last as long. Once we get to May, you just grab this thing and pull it off is what I do. If the plant happens to come out of the top, we've had this happen before, too. It will freeze out of the top, but inside, like I said, it's a heater. It won't freeze. You push this thing all the way out, where you can have that cone go together like that. That's your, that's your anti-freeze with the heater. What you want is that thing sitting where it's going to set for a week. Then you just pick it up, move it over, plant your plant right there where it warmed up your soil. Probably a little bit of help. Get it back over the plant like that, two months early on a tomato. 
guaranteed you can have tomatoes by June if you start in March. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope to see you soon.